Mongo is perfectly pitched and perfectly positioned for that audience. They're accustomed to thinking in JSON. They're accustomed to thinking in those data structures. And uh, Postgres, it's still kind of bolted on and on the side and not 100% supported. But I, I believe that that's surmountable in, in a number of different ways. Uh, at the back. So the, the big difference. Afghanistan. We have to be, we have to be Afghanistan, not uh, France. <laughs> Sorry, no offense. Uh, uh, France has a, an incredibly ferocious army and a long history of, of beating up its neighbors. Uh, uh, in America, that's not well known. But um, uh, I, I mean, that, the, the answer, I'm being quite serious. If you, if you fight people on their own turf, you'll lose, right? If Postgres goes out there and starts you know, taking all the dimes we can scrape together and like, tries to buy a Super Bowl ad, like, it's not going to work. The, the way to compete with someone is not to uh, go to their strengths. It's to go to their weaknesses. Uh, we have an enormous community. We can build a community. People don't hate us. That's an asset. Uh, and, and people want us to succeed because everybody hates Oracle. Um, you know, I, I look to uh, my colleagues at Salesforce and the great work that they're doing. Uh, they're doing that because this open source project exists, and, and regardless of whether all of that code gets back, they are supporting and contributing to this community, and, and not just through hiring people, which, by the way, they're hiring uh, if you are interested in joining a really amazing and awesome database project. So, uh, sorry, just to repeat the question, you were saying that uh, it, if you think about it in terms of Linux versus FreeBSD, then maybe uh, you know, the Postgres versus, well, I don't know who I would compare with. I mean, the, the competition, Mongo, has a massive marketing budget. The competition, MySQL, had a massive marketing budget. These were commercial companies. I think we can continue to be competitive with them by using different tactics. How do we argue uh, yeah, against? You have to, especially European countries, you have to guarantee that your product will work within the next three years without waiting, don't wait within the next three so, years. Uh, the so uh, this guarantee, this, uh, I want to have a company uh, to claim when it breaks. So uh, if you're looking for a company, uh, the sort of the one throat to choke principle, this is known as in some circles, uh, the question was, how do you? How do you get Postgres into places where people want a company yes. that will provide support? And there are a number of answers in this room. Uh, Heroku is a subsidiary of Salesforce, and Enterprise DB uh, has been doing this forever. You know, yeah, there. So if you're talking about that, I mean. It, I, well, and another another answer is that you don't have to win all the fights. Go to where the go to where the enemy is weak, right? If those kinds of organizations, there are lots of organizations in Europe using Postgres today, and there are lots of people who want who who are willing to make the trade-offs because they get so many other advantages. Uh, I saw a question over here. No, okay. Oh, yeah, David. Uh, what do I think the front page should look like? I think it should look like uh, a series of A-B tests, which uh, look at actual data rather than my uh, half-assed three in the morning opinion uh, made in MS Paint. Um, the, 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 but like in all honesty, the, 
it, it doesn't matter what I think it should look like. I think that the way to improve it is to uh, have somebody come up with a small change, a small hypothesis, run an A-B test and see what the effect is. You measure it, you iterate, you improve over time. It's just like building any other software. Uh, yes, uh, JV. So you mentioned actually the, the weakness of other databases, and Geospatial is one of them, which is one place where crosswords can really rock. Yes. How do you see that? I, I totally agree with some of the saying, and one of the problems with crosswords is actually that it's not integrated in crosswords as well. So, so how do you see about like extensions to get it inside the database to make it more discoverable? So um, the question was, uh, you know, what a, Post GIS is an amazing tool, and Postgres is much stronger than the competition in, in geospatial things. But as an extension, it's not well integrated. How do we address that? I think the answer is actually not to pull things into the core. That just makes it slower. It puts it on the same release cycle as Postgres. It means more people with more code that can break. The answer is actually to improve the extension functionality. It's to get PostGIS into PGXN get tools into Postgres that allow you to query and install things straight from PGXN inside the database, and to make that experience transparent and seamless and dependable. And then that way, it, installing PostGIS isn't some crazy process involving like installing 15 different weird versions of Debian packages, and then uh, like running some Perl script, which 80% of the time it works all the time, but it's actually like this well-supported, very smooth and slick experience. And we've seen real strides in that direction recently, and I think we need to continue to invest there. Uh, yes? Uh, I, I also believe that you could increase the radius of the um, funnel uh, if we had uh, a more variety or stability of GUI tools. Yes, uh, a common, uh, the, the comment was that we could get more people into the funnel if we had better uh, GUI tools. PSQL is really, really awesome uh, as a command line tool, and I bet you most of the people who develop on Postgres and most of the people in this room, if they have a query to write, they go to that. And backslash E, if you don't know, opens your favorite text editor uh, and lets you edit a query in it. Um, you're right. GUI tools are a great example of one of those cases where less skilled users feel a lot of pain that more skilled users don't. Um, PG Admin is out there. It's been around forever. It serves some of that need. Um, Navicat is out there. It's commercial, but I hear good things about it. We're seeing other open source tools starting to try and add uh, uh, functionality in that area. SQL Pro is a famous MySQL one. They've been getting so much pressure on them lately to adopt Postgres that they've actually started working towards that. We'll see if it materializes. I think maybe I have time for one last question, and then we'll call it. Anyone? All right. Well, thanks.